Okay, so I entered this battle accidentally forgetting to put Focus Ash on my Breloom, which is definitely rough for Breloom because it's so frail. Um, I'm wondering if we could play without it. I'm a little wary of Trick Room. So I'm gonna go Volcarona. And they've got a lot of dragons, so we'll lead Hydreigon. Garchomp isn't bad either. Yeah, Breelum actually would have been pretty decent. I don't really trust it without the... Yeah, we'll bring the mouse. Okay, so the question is, well, honestly, I'm not too afraid about uh, of the trick room because this, I thought cleft key was, oh, it's steel fairy, right? Hmm. In that case, maybe we should Heat Wave and that looks okay. I mean, I don't know exactly what it's going to do. Maybe, I mean, maybe it's weakness policy, hey, Dragon, but that would do a ton. You would think the weakness policy would be on like one of uh, like Dragonite or or guard chomp because they're only uh, they only are gonna take super effective times two damage rather than times four. Okay. See if that burn even matters. Interesting. do I have? Garchomp and Mouse Hold. I think we need the damage. I don't really want to miss either. If we get the flinch, then that's just bonus points. What? Oh my god. Okay, so I guess the burn isn't going to end up mattering because I thought... I mean, I know Stroke of Bug wasn't going to do a lot, but I really didn't think it would do nothing that, like, like it just did. Okay, who'd you miss? Hydrogen. Okay. Well, there's... Yeah. Wow. Okay. I mean, I know it nasty plotted, but Volcarona, I kind of expected to take that a little bit better. 
Obviously, the mess is super helpful. We still have to get through two more Pokemon. Not really sure what. I mean, Dragonite's probably going to extreme speed there anyway. I think we just need to go for maximum damage. Do we get another burn? That's just how strong Hydreigon is. Draco Meteor right through a light screen. Okay. So, the nice thing is we have the speed advantage. They have, unless they have Miascarda in the back. Then we have to worry a little bit. Definitely could mess with them a little bit here, though, which is cool. Um, we do have to survive this turn. So let's see what they go for. Going for an attack of some sort. Maybe I was being too cautious with the rock slide. Okay, yeah. Not that a dragon claw would have done a ton, but let's see. Are they just going to knock out my mouse? Let's see if we get the flinch. Okay, that did nothing. Okay. <laughs> wow. Um, I mean, they're not really going to set up on me. I'm honestly going to try to uh, protect. And if they go for a sucker punch, we can... Uh, probably lock up the game with Encore. So let's see if they do it. Nice. Okay. So this should guarantee us the, the game. Um, so I am going to double protect. Then we're going to Encore. And we're just double protecting because I don't want to actually get hit with a sucker punch in case something bad happened. Okay. Locked into sucker punch. And um, now all we have to do is follow me. Sucker punch will be redirected into... Mouse hold, and then it just won't do anything because mouse hold's not using an attack move. Okay, there we go. So we got lucky with the heat wave miss, but who knows how it would have went. I mean, we were two to one there, which was nice, but it's hard to say. We'll take it. Got to go put my focus sash on my Breelum now. Don't like that Gengar. Um. Yeah, I don't mind Breloom over Garchomp if we can get through the, um, I don't know, the Dragonite. It's 
definitely these it's becoming really common to see four Pokemon that are good into Hydreigon, Golden Gun, Garchomp, and Murkrow, plus Dodonzo. Just going for it here. And we'll set up a tailwind. I don't know. I mean, I know King Gabbit is strong, but I don't I don't know if he Okay. Well a double up with that should Okay. I think this is probably our best chance if they stay in. But really bad start. Zero Terra. All we did was set up Tailwind on a couple Pokemon that already were uh, <laughs> already were slower than us. Okay, so what's this guy got going on? Okay, so he did double up into Brielle. Alright, so we got some momentum back. Dragonite. Who are they going to tear us, the question? I'm gonna spore. Draco Meteor, Dragonite. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna come down to sleep turns and a bunch of stupid things. Gambit to stay asleep for a while. Let me see. If they read the protect, we're also not doing so great. But I think we just have to keep going for a Draco Meteor. See if they change target. Oh, they did. So we could have just put him to sleep. <laughs> that would have been insane. Okay. Any coming back from this? I don't think so.
Is there any possible way to come back from this? Double protect, foul play. No, okay. <clears throat> if we got the double off, let's see what Gengar did. I'm just interested to know. Okay. Well, that would have been a knockout. Could have Tailwind, Spored Gengar, and then it just would have been up to Sleep Turns. But Mach Punch would have been chunking um, King Gambit, and Foul Play would have been doing a lot of damage to Gengar. So... I don't know. I guess. I guess we don't have to feel too bad about it, even though that was a terrible turn one. Okay, more Don Dozo. Matchups just are terrible. Do I want a Murkrow? <clears throat> Is the mouse good at all here? Okay, we're just gonna bring Garchomp. Kind of rely on Spore if they do bring Dodonzo or Dondozo. Just gonna scout and rage powder. Hmm. Just because I don't want to take a fighting attack. Okay. That's why we rage powdered. Let's see. Okay. We double up. What do I think they're going to do? Yeah, let's do it. Are they going to do close combat? Yep, okay. No burn. Okay, I'll take that. Quack. 
question now is... Do they go for it again? I mean, it's probably a focus sash on that. I forget the name of that little electric guy. We win the speed tie, or they're not max special attack or max speed, then uh, we should just knock out. Oh my god. So they win the speed tie, but they miss. It's definitely, my, I definitely have a max speed high Dragon, so I mean, I don't feel that bad about that because if I won the speed tie, that would have been us. Trying to think of who their team. Okay, so that was the right call. Um, Actually, yeah, we should always do that. It's still not pretty, I'll be honest with you. Because I don't think Golden Go drops to this. Unless it's like max speed. No bulk, maybe. But he has natural bulk that's decent. Okay, and they might Terra, I don't know, Balloon, but I'm expecting it to be Terra Steel. Okay, 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 that's great. I don't know why they didn't close combat since they already were minus two defense and special defense. If they just got flustered from that Draco Meteor miss. Okay, so anytime there's a 2v1 and one of my Pokemon is Breloom, it's pretty it's a pretty much a done deal from there. Okay. I'll be honest though, this isn't um, that's probably the best Pokemon they could have had left. We are the ones with Tailwind up, right? Yeah. So I don't even think a Choice Scarf could save them here. Okay. Let's see, are they Fairy, maybe? No, they're just grass. Okay. So I guess they're just going for it in case we choked. I guess they don't know our last Pokemon too, so it is going to be a 1v1 here, but Mach Punch is just going to close the deal here. I guess hypothetically, yeah, actually, they they would have a chance if, um, if I brought the mouse instead of Reloom, which I was considering, so. Oh, 
But if I did, I probably would have protected with Garchomp there. Attacked with Hydreigon. Let the Life Orb knock him out and then go from there. So I think either way it would have been fine. 